Hey y'all. <laughs> Good morning. It's um, early on Sunday morning and I've already been out and taking care of the ducks and I just wanted to talk to y'all because there's so much going on and uh, one of those things is there's a big fire in California. They call it the Apple Fire and it is um, directly west of us and so this morning it started yesterday and I heard about it on Dutch Sense and when he was reporting on it and uh, it was like 6,000 acres or something and uh, I looked on my app on my phone that my friend showed me about my radar I think it is and it lists all the fires it will give you a layer of all the fires and then you can click on them and tell what they are and it looks like that apple fire has burned um, by the time I saw the report it was like nine o'clock last night maybe and it's 12 over 12,000 acres I haven't looked this morning and it was not contained at all and it was going up over a mountain I don't know if y'all seen the Dutch sense video he showed where it was at and what it was doing but the thing is, my, my valley is covered in smoke this morning. And so it looks like that's going to happen if um, they don't get it contained. So there's that. That's kind of the introduction to what's going on. Um, and part of it to explain. To explain I, I can't even explain apparently I live in a technological vortex where all of my equipment at different times in my life will com completely not cooperate so what will cooperate is my phone a little bit it's very difficult to edit on the phone um, for instance, I thought I was taking a time lapse. I took a video for an hour <laughs> and I tried to speed it up. Well, I could only get it, it will only go twice as fast. So now it's 30 minute video. Well, the thing is, is that y'all probably don't realize this because whenever you see the videos, they're time lapse. Those clouds literally take hours to move. If you're sitting here looking at them, you can't tell what direction they're going because they move so slow. So that's why the time lapse comes in handy so that you can actually see the movement of the clouds. <laughs> It'll take me 30 minutes to get 30 seconds of video where the clouds are actually moving. So that's a disadvantage. But I have I purchased a computer and long story short, it's not going to work. So, I'm sending it back, and I'm hoping that my other one, it's possible that it's going to be fixed, but I haven't heard. He's going to try to put a new keyboard in there and see if that fixes the problem. And if that fixes it, then I'll be back in business. If it doesn't, I don't know what I'm going to do. So, I, I'm real hopeful uh, that my computer will work when I get it back. Sun ain't up yet but it's coming. You can see the light change. I don't know why. Must be smoke in front of the sun or something. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, so that's what I'm working on and I am going to I'm going to show you ducks. It's coming. Um before you see the duck pen being built. Eventually I'll get that video up, maybe. What I might have to do is mail the stick drive to Sarah and let her upload it to YouTube as is. I'm determined not to lose all that footage and that work I put into it. Days and days of work. And I've built it up so much, you're gonna see the video and go, <laughs> what the what? <laughs> So anyway, I'm going to record this now on Sunday, August 2nd, and maybe add to it as I go through the week or the next few days. Um, there it is. 
I will be back. So, I wanted you to see the smoke. This is it. That's Mount Tipton. It was on fire the other day, but they got it out. Right here. Welcome to Apple Valley. Not Apple Valley. The Apple Fire. Um, I think it's somewhere near Ridgecrest, maybe. But yeah, we're gonna be a smoky today. Oh, there's some make one out. Now this is what it looks like in Arizona when California's on fire. y'all <laughs> it's monday now nope you can go back to sleep buddy so what happened uh, oh i know you can hear the fan in the background and stuff and i don't no well anyway i'm not going to go there here i got something to tell you mr mbb333 so he comes on sunday morning live stream freaks out he's out shopping somewhere and it's like 7 30 or something 6 30 in the morning yeah anyway hit one of his most recent videos he's like the sun is red oh what is the sun red <laughs> and everybody was like it's not red here and then uh, it was just and it was red and um, so I put a comment on there it's red because there's a fire to the south and west of us and the winds blowing and it's bringing all the smoke so I've seen more than one video today. <laughs> I watch another homesteader people and on Sunday they're like, wow, it's like this really kind of cloud cover. It's massive. I don't know where they're at. Obviously they're in, they're in Arizona somewhere. I know that. And uh, what is it? The uh, they're called the edge of, edge of nowhere, I think, or something like that. But they're trying to build a homestead in the desert too. Wow. They're going to put orchards in and stuff. Anyway, I've only got a few minutes because I can't go more than 15 minutes on video. And I just wanted to update y'all on the fire. And the fire. I sound like I'm from North Carolina. <laughs> um, and the smoke. Uh, well, you can't see it. There's glare. But we're still smoke covered. We're just covered in smoke. And so are they in Phoenix or they were in Phoenix. But. If you follow Mr. MBB333, his video this morning talking about the fire, he did this, uh, he must, I don't know, Google Earth, he can do things on his computer I can't do. Anyway, he was showing the smoke and how it came and it went around and it kind of circled around Phoenix and then it, and he said it was heading back, which might explain why it's still cloudy and smoky here today. It's not really cloudy, it's smoky. In other news, there are fire ants in the duck pen. And I worked really diligent with different things and, and trying to get rid of them. And um, it seems that I have. I'm so excited. Except for this morning. I had to uh, work uh, battle with the uh, honeybees have discovered the duck pin. And I have been using peanut butter powder to give them extra protein in their duck food. And apparently the bees love it. So I had to hide the food. And then I had some that had spilled on the ground and stuff because ducks are not very careful about their food and they're very likely to run, run right through their dish and <laughs> flip everything over. <laughs> anyway, um, so I mucked out the duck pen and i put that around into the duck yard where there are currently growing i haven't told you an acacia tree just grew <laughs> and it has 
it has branches on it right now going out that are uh, taller than me um, almost uh, yeah taller than me probably six seven foot tall maybe going out so it's going to be a nice little shade for the duck pen when it gets big so in the meantime I muck out I keep checking the time make sure I don't go over uh, I gotta hurry up but anyway I'm mucking out the duck pen and I put it in the duck yard and we're gonna grow other trees there too because everything when I dump their water it's getting that's why they're fire ants because they're everything's coming for the water <laughs> and there are flocks of little tiny birds <laughs> But they don't distress the ducks. Uh, the uh, honeybees in their food, they were fussing, fussing, fussing. And so um, I might be able to put it on here, but I'll have to show you how they call me to say, you need to come over here. It's time to feed us. And I'll try to get a picture of that and put it on here. A preview of coming attractions. <laughs> I promise. I love y'all. I'm done.